Dr. Carson, an honor to have you back here at the Reagan Library. Thank you. Good to be back. You know, uh, been fascinating to watch you on this campaign trail. Uh, as of a day or so ago, you've uh, pushed yourself into second place, and it seems like it might have kind of happened a little quietly, but yet here you are. How do you, what do you attribute your success to so far? Uh, I think it's primarily social media and the fact that we've been out there a lot, and there's a lot of word of mouth going on. And when people have an opportunity to actually hear me and hear what's behind it, they say, that doesn't sound like the guy the media said he was. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's great. Uh, you're really to be congratulated. Running a great race so far. Thank you. Um, is there a question that you, you hope you actually might get tonight, something that might help you even showcase further who you are and what you're all about? Well, I would love some questions about uh, immigration to our country, how we solve that issue. Uh, I would love some, some questions about how do we handle uh, the global jihadist, uh, and is that a real threat to us? I would love some questions about how are we going to stimulate the economy, and what is responsible for the increasing economic divide. You know, um, there's some people, I think rightly so, that uh, see President Obama uh, as, uh, you know, he wakes up in the morning and tries to decide what he can do that day to reverse the Reagan agenda, the Reagan legacy. Would you agree with that? And if so, uh, what do you think we can do about it? Well, certainly, I, I believe that uh, President Obama represents a completely different ideology uh, and a different vision for America doesn't necessarily mean that they're bad people, it just means that their vision of America is very different than the one that Ronald Reagan would have or the one that I would have. And uh, obviously what we have to do is help people to recognize that we have to make a choice. Uh, do we want to go the way of Lenin and Stalin and Khrushchev and Castro, or do we want to go the way of George Washington and Abraham Lincoln and Ronald Reagan. And uh, fortunately, we get to make that choice. That's right. Um, I, uh, something I thought about uh, that may you probably haven't been asked before, but you're getting to know, I'm sure, uh, all your colleagues that are candidates running as well. And I wondered if, there, if one of them was to drop out tonight, which one would you like to see not drop out because perhaps you've gained a measure of respect for them along the way? Honestly, I don't necessarily want to see anybody drop out. Um, they've all worked very hard. Uh, for many of them, this is like the culmination, the, f the final notch on the belt. Um, and it's a big deal for them. Uh, I personally have a different aspiration for myself. Uh, I don't see it as a notch on the political belt at all, but rather as you know, a calling, something that needs to be done because our country is in a lot of trouble. Yeah, yeah. Uh, final question for you. We're told that Hillary Clinton will watch tonight's debate very closely. Um, anything, any message for her? Uh, yeah. The uh, main message is uh, be who you are. Uh, don't want you to try to change to be like any of us. Be who you are because the American people have a very important choice to make and we want it to be a crystal clear choice for them. Well put. Thanks so much, Doctor. It's an honor to have you here. Absolutely. Okay. Okay. Take care. Good luck tonight.